The US already has in place the most advanced missile defense system in the world. But yet, Donald Trump has announced a new missile defense system called the Golden Dome for the United States. This new missile defense system will cost a whopping 175 billion US dollars. That's more money than the entire Indian defense budget for a year of 75 billion US dollars. This missile defense is also very controversial as missiles will be transported, stored and fired from space using satellites. Space will no longer be a place to do scientific research. It will soon be the new battlefield. One of the greatest threats any nation can face is the launch of an ICBM or Intercontinental Ballistic Missile against it. An ICBM has 5 to 10 warheads. After the ICBM is launched, the missile would go up into space and take a parabolic path. It would then come down on the target at a speed of Mach 25. At such speed, the ICBM is unstoppable. But since the ICBM takes a predictable parabolic path, it can be taken out mid-flight in space if it is detected by satellites at the time of its launch. Now we have hypersonic missiles. Hypersonic missiles are launched like cruise missiles at very low altitude. These missiles travel low, avoiding radar detection. Hypersonic missiles follow an unpredictable path, hence it's very difficult to know the missile's actual target. At the terminal phase, these missiles raise up and perform evasive maneuvers as shown in the animation before hitting the target. There are two types of hypersonic missiles. The hypersonic glide vehicle is a hypersonic missile which after launch would release a hypersonic glide vehicle traveling at a speed of Mach 10. It has no warhead or propulsion, but the sheer kinetic force generated would destroy the target on impact. Hypersonic cruise missiles are hypersonic missiles which maintain hypersonic speed using engines such as scramjets. The United States already has many satellites in space to detect missile launches from any location on Earth. However, these satellites cannot determine what type of missile is launched, whether it's a regular ICBM or a hypersonic missile. If the type of missile launched is not known, then preparing for the defense of these missiles would be impossible. As both ICBM and hypersonic missiles need to be dealt differently, so this situation has given rise to the Golden Dome project. During the Cold War in 1987, Lowell Wood and Edward Teller of Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory developed a ballistic missile defense system called the Brilliant Pebbles. The system would consist of thousands of small satellites hovering over Soviet Union at all times. Each of these satellites would not only be able to detect missile launches, it will also hold heat-seeking missiles. These satellites with missiles inside them will be placed in low Earth orbit constellations. If the Soviet Union launched an ICBM from any location towards the United States, the satellite constellation would detect the launch from space. After confirming the direction, one of the satellites would launch a counter-missile towards the ICBM. This counter-missile launched will take out the ICBM mid-flight in space. Even if the Soviet Union would launch multiple ICBMs in a single launch, the Pebble system is designed to take out all the missiles in outer space. What a sight it would be, it would truly be Star Wars. The Pebble's missile defense system was way advanced for its time. It was estimated a minimum of 7,000 satellites would be needed globally and some 700 satellites over the USSR alone to make the system work. But this system had its own drawbacks. First, all the geostationary satellites launched over the Soviet Union must travel at high speeds to maintain altitude. Because of the atmospheric drag, the satellites will wear out and fall from space. Second, the Soviet Union can launch nuclear anti-satellite missiles and wipe out the entire system. Third, the multitude of satellites will contribute to space debris. The Brilliant Pebbles program had an estimated budget of 10 billion US dollars as of 1990, which was quite high for the time. But by 1991, the USSR had collapsed and the super expensive Brilliant Pebbles program was scrapped.
The Golden Dome Missile Defense is a system exactly similar in architecture to the Brilliant Pebbles concept. It would employ a global constellation of satellites equipped with both sensors and space-based interceptors. Its estimated budget is a whopping 175 billion US dollars, which is more than entire India's defense budget of 75 billion US dollars. US President Donald Trump has said the project will be completed in three years within his tenure. Canada will be joining the program and will pay approximately 61 billion US dollars but will be free if Canada becomes the 51st state of the United States. Trump also said the Golden Dome missile defense will be used not just for defense, but also for offensive purposes as well. The Golden Dome missile defense system, if built, would put missiles in space, which means space would be weaponized. China and Russia both have opposed the Golden Dome project. Like this video, please subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.